In this video, you're going to learn what ringworm is, how you can catch it, what it looks like, including lots of real life clinical photos, how you can treat it, plus when you might need to go and see your doctor about this. So first of all, what is ringworm? Well, it's a common fungal infection, meaning that despite the name, it's not actually caused by worms. You can catch ringworm from things like an infected person or animal, infected objects, so things like bed sheets, combs or towels, or even infected soil, although this is less common. In terms of signs and symptoms, well the medical name for ringworm is tinea and the main symptom is something like a rash which might look red, silver or darker than surrounding skin but this is going to depend on your skin tone and you're going to see lots of real life clinical photos here to help you try and identify it easier. The rash might also be scaly, dry, swollen or itchy and it can appear anywhere on the body and this includes in the scalp and I'll make a video on this in much more detail later on as well as the groin. Now in terms of what the rash looks like, well it's usually ring shaped, but it might look different on your face, neck or scalp. Sometimes the rash grows, spreads or there's more than one rash. Now ringworm on the face or scalp might also cause patchy hair loss which you can see in these photos here. So hopefully with the photos that you've seen you should now feel more comfortable at recognising it but if you've got any doubts then you can always speak to a health professional, so someone like a pharmacist, a nurse or a doctor. So if you think that you or your child have got ringworm, well what do you need to do? Well the good news is that most of the time this can be treated with medicine that you can buy over the counter from a pharmacy without needing to see a doctor. So my advice generally is that you see a pharmacist first, especially if you live in the UK. They can often look at the rash and recommend the best antifungal medicine and this might be a cream, gel or spray depending on where the rash is. Now this medicine can be something called clotrimazole and typically you need to use this every day for up to four weeks. It's important to use it for the right amount of time even if the rash has gone away because the fungus can really persist for quite some time afterwards and it's really important you try to get rid of it all. Now there are some cases when you might want to consider seeing your doctor and these are if ringworm hasn't improved despite using the antifungal medicine that's recommended by a pharmacist, if you've got ringworm on your scalp, then you'll need to usually have a prescription antifungal tablet, which can only be given by a doctor here in the UK, and shampoo. If you've got a weakened immune system, so for example from chemotherapy, steroids or diabetes, then it's always worth seeing your doctor as well. Finally, what can you do to stop ringworm spreading? Well, here are my top tips for this. First of all, start treatment as soon as possible. Wash towels and bed sheets regularly and don't share these towels with other people. That way ringworm won't spread easily. Secondly, keep your skin clean and wash your hands after touching animals or soil and try not to scratch other parts of your body because this can spread the ringworm. Also, you want to regularly check your skin if you've been in contact with an infected person or animal. Finally, take your pet to the vet if they've got ringworm Ringworm. So for example, if they've got patches of missing fur, this could indicate they have ringworm because remember, ringworm can spread from animals to humans. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, please check out the resources section of this video where you can find lots more information in the description box. Please also consider sharing your own experiences of ringworm in the comments section for other people to learn from. And as ever, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.